tea time morning to test this is the second part of um yeah my oxygen 49 mark 5 and not mkv because the v is and roman number okay this is the fifth generation um of the keyboard oxygen 40 <laughs> From MODO, the granddaddies of the USB MIDI keyboard controller. So I, I jumped for, from the Mark III of that, of that version, the, the first generation to the fifth generation. I finally, finally read the manual and then um, no better work with this. And now I assign know how to uh, do the transport work and the the, the DAW mode and all the stuff let's check it out <clears throat> so not from the manual i just figure out how to find from the youtube video some tutorial how to set up a reaper for example okay for a reaper so uh, all you have to do um of course, of course it's due to option preference and uh, for the midi device Okay, you select Oxygen 49 MKV, uh, MK5. Enable input and enable input for control message. Do the same thing for the Oxygen 49 MK, uh, MK5. Enable output and send clock to output. So it's really interesting. So this is really important. And for the rest, you go to Control OS Web. You do an add. I already made it add and then you select your Mackey control universal and you select the mdin2 oxygen 49 and kv as input and no no fucking output okay <laughs> just left the, the rest for this click okay okay and now with this now the controller, the transport control can control function in Reaper like play, record, loop mode, as you can see. Everything's work. And the other stuff is cool. If you have, for example, eight first track, this can control the eight first track using the slider. But for this, you need to push the uh, DAW preset button just right there and then you can control the sliders, individual sliders, as this. And then, and this button now in DAW mode, this is, you know that the LED is open up, is that a slider, so by default, it's, the button is used to trigger the record <coughs> on record on the track eight first track the last one the nine track is for the master track as you can see and uh, the last button here is called da button mode so if you if you touch this one you can switch all this function that this button is used to for example select this isn't select mode so if i hit the button i can select the track and that's cool <laughs> and if you uh, go to record tap again solo select record solo mute select record okay records will on the record by default as you can see and then you go to solos to trigger the solo solo track and the mute the other stuff for the new track and that's cool so i, I can use this for my looper um, uh, g loop plugin so uh, instead uh, get out of the DAW mode and now uh, if i now no, i am in preset mode so this sliders button used as 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 free assignment button unless you do to DAW mode to control the tracks or MIDI mode to assign a slider button. So I use uh, this button for a loop record on my GU plugin 
uh, clear our instance to the first loop and recall our instance uh, over the, the loop. So this is, maybe I put some um, paper or layout to remind, but uh, I get used to. So no more this. So this, and the other th stuff, why not? I am not in DOMO, the, 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 the comment, the, the, the transport button still function anyway. So that's why it's, it's, that's great. Okay, now for, about the instrument. Okay, for usual, I can, okay, be sure I'm not in um, DOM mode. I am in preset mode, so I can assign any button, slider, and, uh, you know, a knob as well. Okay, even note to anything. So, for example, I want to control the level on my synth, uh, the accent synthesizer. So I move that knob first, as usual, click learn, I tap the bottom I want to control, for example, this slider. So this slider can control the button. Okay, that's so not fine. As usual, as the, the old Mark III I had, it worked the same. Okay. Okay, let's talk about uh, something as cool as the keyboard, you can have some different mode, ARP, short, and scale. And this is marked by that little dot appearing on the numbers. So, for example, I want to sh do... Um, this is mode switching, okay. I hit the shift, use the mode, shift. So, and I'm in now with the dot, ARP mode short mode or scale mode okay let's start with the r mode so this have an rpg eater inside and this really is fast and the, on the keyboard you get different control of the rpg speed for example i use the shift i want to do on the 132 132 for example this one but this is really fast. Okay, 1-8. And that's cool. I can now switch to a random. Okay, this is really, <laughs> it's really too fast. Okay, 1-8 one, one on the speed. And I can show the different... Um, Sort of, um, you know, arpeggiator voicing one, two, seven, one, three, three, five, or seven. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, again, so this is what <laughs> so I like it. This is cool. I can, if I want to get out of this mode, I put the I push two mode buttons together, and that that is this very, and I I am on on normal mode. Okay, this is so a uh, short mode. You can generate short, and the short are all there: random, tight major, minor, and a custom. Yeah, so. I want to do on, uh, for example, well, mine, a major short, tap there, hold shift and tap there, and then... As well as a random short as well. So you tap your same node and... Supposed to change it. <laughs> Custom or just random. So we can get inspired with us with single key. <laughs> that's cool. And uh, okay, that's, that's on the minor short with one key. So it's really an, an intelligent short system. Uh, 
okay, the major, random, major, minor, custom. And the custom, okay, you hold the shift and type the key for custom. CSC, you select the key we want to select. For example, this. So this is in mem memory, so. I want to do, for example, uh, uh, some sort of, um, uh, an octave short, for example. So you will shift custom. I want to do full octave. So there's a memory. Okay, yeah, something I want to complain about Oxygen 49, this fifth generation. This pitch band, pitch the band uniquely in two, one, two, three, four, one, three semitone up. Looks like it some laggy a little bit. Again I want to output the short mode. Click the do buttons there. And then there was the scale. Okay, scale mode. Scale mode. The scale mode, you can limit the keyboard to a certain scale, okay? So, for example, I want to do... I want to do... <laughs> uh, type major, maybe. PAG. So, all the key is in major scale whatever you push. So this is people are uh, for lazy people who want, don't want the fucked up with the, the scale, other scale, other tunes. Uh, I want to do a, okay, the minor scale, the bar, the bar, the bar, the minor scale, so. And there's a, I heard that's a, a different custom. Okay, there's some custom Dorian scale. Another, another custom is called the blue scale. So this is a scale for the blues. <laughs> that's nice. Dorian blues, okay, the, the, the custom is extra scales, but the blue scale. And the Dorian scale. Really interesting, really interesting. So the art short and scale, really interesting, like this. About the drum pads, uh, I can use that, uh, I want to select drum machine. And there's a, something called note repeat key. So if you hold this one, you do a repeat, depending on the speed you select. Okay, for example, I want to um, shift that to maybe 1.8, or maybe 1.16, 132. Okay, uh, there's something I can control that. And if I would just shift, I can switch. Okay, the first band is, is marked pad, um, pad, pad bank one and pad bank two. So I have, first I know I can switch to pad bank two and pad bank one. So the pad bank one is one around the same key range from the uh, that range of keyboard. So this is a it's corresponding to the that key to that key. So. So this is the same, this is the same, and another one, the same. So as well as I have crystal bank to the rest of the key. On that key. Not exactly, but this is, this is weird. Yeah, anyway, I like the I like the drum pad. So I want to do a, 
I put this on my looper, I can hit the record. And then uh, yeah, so my, my, tr my foot trigger still work on it. So, okay. Just hold. I got my snare there. Got to do another, another layer. So, this is cool. I like it. I really am glad to have buffed this one. This is, uh, it cost me around 200 28 and something dollar Canadian dollar above it on Best Buy. For 228 dollar Canadian dollar, I'm really glad to have bought this. I bought this from uh, Best Buy, but it's uh, some music instrument reseller third party provider from them sent me it. Uh, two days after I uh, order it on, online. So this is available online. And I'm glad to this. So um, thanks for watching. So this is what I learned about this fifth generation of M Audio and I like it. I hope the key will stay white and not become yellow. <laughs> Just like my, my old pal, the M Audio Oxygen 49. Uh, third generation five generation of goodness thanks for watching see you next time